right guys, welcome back to the Pop Culture Network. Now usually we do Transformers reviews on Fridays, but we got our hands on some Age of Extinction toys early, so we figured you really don't want to save those, you want to do those as quick as you can. So today, right now, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Crosshairs. So let's hop in the photo tent, take a look. First thing you can notice is that there's a big change in the look of the packaging for Transformers this year. Uh, besides the fact that this is the Age of Extinction movie tie-in, so you've got that big logo at the top, uh, they're doing this thing with the white background with the red Transformers uh, name written out. That's their big deal for this year. And they accomplish that here by actually leaving the back of the card white and putting this overlay sticker with the red words on there. Now one thing that I found really interesting is that you've got the artwork on the top from the movie uh, and you can see the figure of course right there but then he's got this action effect he's got the power punch and they put this animated um, series kind of looking drawing on there so you've got the actual movie art version of him and then this animated version of him I'm not sure why they're doing that other than maybe they just want you uh, making that connection between the animated series and the movie uh, that they're going to be working on, but there you go nonetheless. Uh, on the back, it shows you his power punch changes in nine steps. Now, before, um, you know, they've, they've usually packaged the, uh, the um, instructions on how to change them folded up in the bottom of the box and reserved these type of uh, transformation instructions to the real simple ones the ones that uh, you know you buy like Dollar General or whatever that only have like one or two changes to them for whatever reason uh, it's now printed on the box I guess maybe it's just that simple um, but they don't have the label across the top they usually have of easy intermediate intermediate expert uh, those type of things across the top it's just hey changes in nine steps and there are the nine steps right there and then you've got this kapow from Batman 66 I'm not sure why that's on there um, but there you go. Uh, one thing to note, of course, Transformers authentic, but not bot points. I saw that, and for a second, I thought that was going to say one bot point on the side, and I got excited. I could mail it in for something, but no, unfortunately, they are not. So, all right, now, through the magic of editing, let's go ahead and pop the package open and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, now, when we take crosshairs out of the package, this is what he looks like in his robot mode. Uh, a couple things we can point out right away. He does have plastic tires. There's no rubber. Uh, they're just kind of snapped in. Uh, you can see him in a couple spots. And I don't know if he's going to be this way in the movie or if this is just the way they've done it for this toy. Um, but his arm is folded back, so he's got like this tiny little arm here and then this other arm on this side. And this little arm is the one that extends out for his power punch. Um, and basically you just twist the upper body and the hand kind of shoves out. And you can see his fist here is actually out, uh, but then as you extend it, the fist kind of curls in uh, so you can smack with this big part um, that's actually the back of the car uh, becomes his giant fist to smash into people. So they put an action feature uh, in the uh, toys this year, I guess because these are the more kid-oriented versions of the toys. Um, but overall, you can see that there's a lot of detail in his uh, face. That's one thing that the movie does, is always puts a lot of detail in the face instead of the you know regular robot face that we've uh, usually are accustomed to in the Transformers toys. Um, another thing I noticed is that if you look on the artwork, uh, the goggles on his face had different colors. Uh, they were red and blue, and here they just painted them green. So there are some details missing from this figure uh, versus the actual character in the movies. Uh, this arm is just this tiny little thin... Um, covering here there's really nothing to this particular arm I mean this is all built around the feature of having that power punch uh, so the rest of him doesn't really do a whole lot um, the legs move as part of his transformation uh, but they don't have any sort of articulation up here um, so they're not 
you know, you can't really pose him a whole lot. Uh, and you can see from the back, he is rather unwieldy uh, and large. So this isn't the type of transformer you're going to be, um, you know, displaying with uh, your masterpieces or anything like that. This is much more, this is the action feature oriented uh, version of the toy aimed at a much younger audience. Now, when it comes to transformations, usually I turn off the camera and I do the transformations while no one's watching uh, because they are uh, generally uh, confusing for me and I'm an idiot. But since this is the uh, debut of these figures for Age of Extinction, I figured we'd go ahead and run through it real quick. And it should be easy, right? Because this is a kid's line. So we'll see how terrible uh, I do here. All right, so I am going to fold the head down like this. And then you move the arm up and over, uh, and it snaps together to the back of the car there. And then what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to flip it like this, twist the legs around, bring them down in front, twist these feet back. Oh, I guess these are supposed to come down. And then you twist it back. Same on this side, somehow is snap in here, maybe. Ah, see, this is it right there. See, now now I'm a big idiot on YouTube that can't do a simple transformer. That's why I hate doing this this way. All right, uh, so there we go, there's that. And then we just kind of push this down in place and flip the top down and there you go. Now he's in his alt mode. Um, and the alt mode really is not that awe-inspiring. Uh, it will roll because uh, it does have the wheels. Uh, but one of the first things, of course, I noticed is the fact that uh, these windows are open on the side and that's where his body is. Um, so you have this big, you know, you can see this big metal chunk on the inside. This side's silver, so it stands out a whole lot more. Uh, than on the other side um, and the feet here don't quite go up underneath the body all the way so they are sticking out a little bit and, and again with these being just the plastic tires uh, not rubberized in any way this does feel very light and very cheap these do run about 13 bucks or so uh, maybe maybe you can get them closer to 12 uh, if you you know find them at like a Kmart or something that's a little more of a discount place but it, it really does feel very cheap and light um, but if you are buying this for a kid um, this is going to be a little easier I guess for them to play with and a little harder for them to break than some of the other ones uh, that have a lot more detail, a lot more pieces, and have a lot more work going into their transformations. Um, so it does transform pretty quick and pretty easy. And then you've got your wonderful little punch mechanic here that you can smack people with. So there is Crosshairs from the Age of Extinction Transformers movie. There you go. Merry Christmas. I guess. If you're in the figures like that, then congratulations. You've got a bunch of them coming out this year for the movie. We actually have a bunch of them on popculturenetwork.com. You can head over there, check out the reviews of more of these Transformers toys. Are there lots of uh, other toys that we take a look at? Also comic books, video games, cool stuff like that. You can also go to jointheforums.com, the official forums of the Pop Culture Network. You can talk to other fans uh, of these toys. If you love these toys, you want to discuss them, you're trying to hunt some down, whatever, make sure you stop by jointheforums.com. You can also call our 24-hour voicemail line. It's area code 217-953-4025. You can leave us a voicemail anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Up to 10 minutes in length, though, so don't get too crazy. Uh, and then you can also find me on Twitter. If you have any other questions or any follow-up comments, you can get a hold of me there. Uh, it's at PCN underscore dirt. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.